You may have heard the word El Nino being thrown around as we head into this upcoming winter. So I thought what I would do is explain what El Nino is and how it will affect the weather in this part of the country. Typically, in a normal year, we have trade winds that are moving along the equator from east out to the west. And what that does is it takes the warmer waters out into the western Pacific. And this is where storm activity happens in northern Australia, up through Asia, and farther to the north. Now, in an El Nino year, there is a shift in that pattern, and that pattern shifts back to the east. So in an El Nino year, the warm waters move into the eastern Pacific off the west coast of South America. So in the western Pacific during an El Nino, we've got drought and cooler waters and even a seafood shortage. But with these warmer waters out in the eastern Pacific, it changes the game as far as upper level flow. When comparing to past El Nino's, 1997, look at the sea surface temperatures. You can tell that's warm. Also, another strong El Nino was in 2015. Again, sea surface temperatures, very, very warm. To put this into perspective, in southern Manitoba, normally we get 13 days in the winter where we are minus 30 or colder. In 2015, in that season, we only had one. So what this warm water does is it changes the upper level flow and it kind of plays with our weather a little bit. Stormy weather in the western U.S. and right here in the eastern prairies we have milder weather and either a normal or above normal amount of precipitation in an El Nino year.